Hasava, this is Lazyborn, and welcome to today's video. Today we're taking a look at another new world video. Today we're going to be talking about attributes, everything you need to know, and how to identify what attributes you're going to need to invest your points into when it comes to new world, because that's going to determine your build, and it's going to be extremely important that you know which attributes are best, how many points you have, how can you get more attribute points, and what do these attributes actually consist of? So if all of this sounds like something you're definitely interested, a like would be greatly appreciated. And let's dive in and talk about attributes in New World. So as like I said, guys, there are a total of one, two, three, four, five different sets of attributes in the game of New World. One, they are strength, dexterity, intelligence, focus, and constitution. Now, one interesting part about this is that each of these attributes come with a primary and a secondary attribute. We are going to discuss each and every one of them. Plus, in addition to that, each of these attributes are have their primary focus on certain weapons. So if you're planning to play with a, with a certain weapon or if you're planning to play a, a certain play style, determining what play style that's going to be or what weapon you want to use, it's also going to determine where you should heavily invest your attributes in. Of course, we are going to have a ton of builds for you guys for each individual play style of tank class, melee class, mage class, uh, you know, assassin, rogue class. We'll have everything covered. So if you guys want to be completely covered, make sure you guys keep a lock on this channel. So let's start off with the first one, which is the strength class. Now, the strength class is primarily focused on melee. So if you plan on being a melee character, trying to be up close and personal, trying to play that tanky role, then this is probably going to be the attribute you're going to want to consider investing in because its primary attribute are the weapon types they're able to use. So the primary weapons, so the primary attribute are for the Warhammer, the Great Axe, the Sword, and the Hatchet. So if you, any of these weapons that I mentioned right now are the ones you plan on going with, remember to keep strength in your high priority because these are going to benefit you in a lot of way. Now, its secondary attribute is for the spear. So if you want to go ahead and run a Warhammer with the spear, that is where you're gonna, that combo is going to come and play with that synergy because that's going to be your secondary attribute. Now, in addition to the uh, to them having a primary and a secondary attribute, they also unlock different knots as you level them up. There's a total of six different knots per attribute that you're able to unlock. So for the strength one, which is a melee fo focus one, once you spend a certain amount of points in there, you're going to unlock, uh, unlock the first nod. The first nod is going to give you plus five damage to melee weapons light attack. So if you're going to be using a light weapons, you're going to be able to pick up that 5%. In addition to that, you're also going to be picking up a 10% mining speed. Now, if you level up to level number two in strength, you're going to get a plus 10 damage to melee at weapon attacks, and you're going to get plus 20 encumbrance. Now, if you level up to level three, you're going to get a plus 50% stamina damage from melee weapons, light and heavy attacks. Plus, you get a negative 10 decrease in weight of mined items. So that means you're going to be able to carry more items and not be so heavy and when moving it. So it's going to help you out quite a bit. So now if you level this up, guys, to level number four, you're going to get plus 10% damage on stun, slowed, and rooted enemies. Plus, in addition to that, you get a plus 10 mining speed. Now, if you level up to level five, you're going to get stamina regen is faster while performing light and heavy attacks with the melee weapon. And you get a plus 10 yield increase when mining. This is actually going to be pretty good because you're actually going to be able to get your health, your not your health, I'm sorry, your stamina back when actually doing attacks. So that, that sounds like a very interesting trade-off. And last but not least, guys, when you level this all the way up to level 6, you're going to get light and heavy attacks with melee weapons gain grit. And in addition to that, you get 25% chance to mine and or with a single swing. So it's going to be really effective. As you see here, it's the primary focus here are increasing your stamina, increasing your damage with those heavy attacks, and also giving you better mining and better movement speed when you level this up all the way up to level six. Now, theoretically, you're not going to be spending all your points or dumping all your points into strength, but if you did want to, you guys know the benefits if you do so. The next attribute we're going to be taking a look at is called Dexterity. Now, Dexterity is mainly focused on the range. So basically, any weapon that gives you range is going to be your main focal point. And this is where the prime attribute actually ties into because it's going to benefit the bow, the reaper, the spear, and the musket. Its second attribute for this one is the sword or the hatchet. So you're definitely going to want to pair up a reaper and a sword or a bow and a hatchet or a spear and a sword. So you're going to be able to kind of determine what type of weapon you want to run when using dexterity. 
Now let's talk about the benefits you have as you level this up. So the first level, you get a 5% chance to crit hit. And you get a plus 10 sinking speed. Then for level 2, you get a plus 5 thrust damage and a plus 20 haste for 3 seconds after sinking. Then you also get the, uh, at level 3, you get a dodge cost 10% less stamina. So that means you're going to be able to move around a little bit faster with less uh, stamina drain. And you get a negative 10 decrease in weight or synced items. At level number 4, you get a plus 10 bonus backstab and headshot damage. And you also get a plus 10 skin speed. Next up, guys, you get a plus 10 bonus critical hit damage on stunned, slowed, or rooted enemies. Plus, you also get a plus 10 yield increase when sinking. And for level 6, you guys get a guaranteed critical hit after a dodge roll. Can only be triggered once every 10 seconds. And your ammo has a, 10, a 15 chance to be returned. So if you're going to be running the bow with this one, it's going to be interesting to see if you can level this up all the way to level 6. Because... We want to make sure we're getting that ammo back. All right, so the next one we have, guys, is intelligence. Now, this is going to be focusing primarily on magic. So if you want to be a mage character, this is probably the one you're going to be wanting to invest the most in. And that's the one I'm going to be investing a lot of points in here. I already got some builds ready for you guys, so you guys are going to definitely fall in love with this. So the primary attributes for this one is the fire staff and the ice gauntlets. The secondary attribute for this, guys, is the reaper or the musket. So we don't have that much of variety, but we do have some very interesting combos here. At level 1, guys, we get a plus 10 damage to light and heavy magic attacks. Plus, we get a plus 10 harvest speed. In level 2, we get a plus 10 critical hit damage and a 5% chance for Acerath when harvesting. Then we also get, a at level 3, a plus 15 to elemental damage, which I think is going to be required to actually hit that level 3 uh, because you want to make sure you get that elemental damage increase. And you get a negative 10 decrease in weight or harvesting items. At level 4, we get a plus 10 mana after a dodge and a plus 10 harvesting speed. Level 5, plus 30 duration to damage over the time spell and a plus 10 yield increase when harvesting. I don't know if we're going to have to max it out all the way to level 5 because that duration damage uh, might be beneficial, but we're going to have to see uh, once we get uh, closer to the beta or the release of the game. And then last but not least, guys, all the way to level 6, you get a plus 30% damage on the first hit on a full hit target and a negative 10% reduction to asset travel costs. Now, the interesting part about this one, if you were to level this up all the way up to level 6, that 30% damage uh, hit consumption or damage that you're able to output might be pretty interesting for bossing, so we're going to have to see how that plays out, and if it's a requirement to actually level this all the way to level 6. At the end of the uh, coverage for the attribute points, I'm going to tell you guys how you can get even more attributes than the once that we already know that we are going to totally have, which is 195 attribute points. We'll see how we could actually uh, get more. The next one we're taking a look at is called Focus. Now, Focus is an interesting one because this is going to be primarily dealing with healing. So if you feel like you want to be a healer or you want to be getting health a lot very frequently, you're going to want to make sure you dump a lot of points into Focus. Its primary attribute for this one is Life Staff. This does not have a secondary attribute. It only has one primary one, and that's it. Um, once you level this up for the first one, you're going to get a plus 10 Magna Regen Rate and a plus 10 Fishing Line Tension. Then if you level this to level 2, you get a plus 10 to Magna Pool and a plus 10 Yield Increase when salvaging. At level 3, you get a plus 20 Healing Output and a plus, and the negative, sorry, negative 10 Decrease in Weight of Fish. Extremely important with that level 3 because you get that plus 20% Healing Output. That's going to be huge, guys, especially if you want to be a healer. You're definitely going to want to make sure you get it all the way up to level 3 because that health is going to be helping quite a lot. At level 4, you get a plus 20% duration on casting buffs. That, that might be good for bossing as well. And at level 5, you get a plus 30 magna on self or group kills. So that means every time you go ahead and kill someone, you're going to be getting magna back, and you get a plus 10% increase to, uh, to caught fish size. And at level 6, you get when your mana hits 0, gain 200% mana regen for 10 percent 60 second cooldown in addition to you get you get a negative 10 percent cooldown reduction for inner fast travel so really important guys is once again focusing primarily on healing now let's take a look at the last one which is called constitution this is going to be primarily going to be focused on health so there's a big difference between focus and this one that one is mostly for healing this one is primarily for health and making sure you have health as a player so this is primary attribute is called overall health. That's just it. It's just plain and easy. If you want to get more health, this is where you're going to be dumping and investing some points in. 
So at level one, guys, when we level this one up, it says all health consumables, 20% stronger. So anytime you drink a potion that you regens, to, uh, like, say, 10% of your health, it's going to give you a little bit more boost for that. It's going to make you 20% more stronger. Plus, it also gives you a plus 10 logging speed. Then for level two, you get increased max health by 10% of your physical armor, and you get a negative 10 reduction on uh, durability loss for tools. Then you get a level three, you get a negative 10 to crit damage taken. So that means you're going to be taking less crit damage and you get a negative 10 decrease in weight of logging items. Then at level four, you get a plus 20% increase to armor and a plus 10% logging speed. At level five, you get a negative 80 damage reduction on full health at, and that's a 60% cooldown and you get a 10% yield increase when logging. And last but not least, guys, you get a plus 20% duration of stun, slow, and root spells. In addition to that, you get a 25% chance to chop down a tree in a single swing. So if you're farming, then, you know, you want to cut some trees down. You definitely want to go ahead and put some points here because that's going to help you quite a lot. So now the question becomes is, Laser, if we have only 195 points, that means we can only maximize one skill to level four, right? So we can only get max to level four. How do we get all the way to level six? Or how do we maximize a specific attribute to level six or min max? Uh, well, it's super easy, guys. Every piece of armor will come with an option and an ability or a perk that's going to give you certain benefits to certain attributes. In addition to that, Armor is going to have also gems you're going to be able to add to these particular items that are going to be able to boost certain attributes as well. Now, I'll have a separate video covering that in particular, which is pretty much the armor, and then we'll have a separate video going over weapons. But that is how you can properly maximize some of these, uh, all the attribute points here is by finding gear or items and dropping gems in them and see what added bonus these have to be able to identify which one's going to give you the best benefit for them. So if you find, let's say you find a hat that has, you know, uh, let's say 50 intelligence, then, you know, you already know that 50 is going to go a long way because you pretty much level up every 50. So it's going to be really important that we find out the gear that we want and determine which attributes we're going to be investing in because then we can see, okay, well, let me find some gear with this. Let me find some gear with that. So let's say I want to maximize intelligence and I'm going to dump all my 195 points on intelligence. And then after that, I still have to look for two pieces that give me 50% intelligence. And then I can look for other items that give me benefits to strength, that give me benefits to dexterity or constitution, depending on how I want to play the game. But like I said, I will have builds on all that information. So if you guys are excited for New World, if you want to make sure you stay up to date to everything New World, want to get the best builds, like always, make sure you guys keep it locked on this channel. And don't forget, for all things New World, keep us locked here, and I'll talk to you guys on the next video.